going to show you how to bond aluminum and fiberglass. Aluminum is a strange material that doesn't like a strong bond with other materials, especially fiberglass. There is a way to achieve a bond, another process which involves a sandwich technique, and I will show it to you now. For this process, I have prepared a, a regular aluminum coupon, piece of aluminum, something I did yesterday and uh, we're going to use grade one steel wool, regular JB weld, not the quick weld, the regular weld, a couple of bondo paddles, and this is a regular uh, woven fiberglass that you can buy in most hardware stores. Okay, uh, then uh, polyester fiberglass resin with the hardener, and um, there are two types. There's type 1 and type 2. Type type 2 polyester resin, uh, when it uh, hardens, it leaves a sort of waxy, glazy finish. Don't know if you can get it there. Um, and that finish means that uh, if you want to put other layers of fiberglass on top, first you've got to sand that, that glaze off there to give you a surface to bond the next layer of fiberglass. So this is the type 2 resin, the wax resin. Acetone and 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol for cleaning. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this steel wool and I'm going to put my fingers right here so that there's going to be uh, a difference uh, between where I buff and where I don't buff, so perhaps you'll see the difference when I hold this up to the camera. So this is the first part of the process, is the cleaning. And this cleaning uh, is removing oxides and things from the surface of the steel wool, better preparing it for, for the next part of the cleaning. Okay. Now that's done, and uh, my fingers were there. I don't know if you can see the, the difference, but this is quite clean, and this is grungy and how it was. It looked clean, but it's not like this. So, first part of this is we're going to take some acetone, put on this rag, and we're going to wipe this off with the acetone. Now the acetone air dries very quickly and you see the crap that just came off of there with the acetone. Now in case there's some residue left over uh, with the acetone, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol right here and I'm going to clean it once again with the alcohol which air dries very rapidly. Okay, and once again you can see the crap that came off of there. So, now this is free of oil and impurities that will compromise uh, bonding JB Weld to it. And so what we do now is we mix up a little bit of JB Weld here and it comes in two parts. Of course if you put a certain amount down it's going to double in volume when you put in the second part and so be mindful of that so you don't waste a whole pile of this. Okay, and there we go. Now, this original type JB Weld, it actually sets up in 24 hours. And why I use this is that I want, I'll be working outside on this project that I have, and I want time to position the fiberglass mat in exactly the right place. Because if 
I'm working with something that kicks off in 10 minutes, then basically I can make a mistake and then I have to live with it. So I'm using that stuff and also it'll get into the weave of the fiberglass mat uh, a lot better than something that's curing rapidly. So now I'm going to put this on the aluminum that I cleaned. As you see, I'm just putting a fairly light coat, but an even coat. That's why I'm using the, the paddle here. Okay, and I'll make it a little bit wider maybe. Okay, there we go. Now, another reason for using these Bondo plastic paddles is the cleanup from them is so much easier. Um, you can reuse these over and over again and if something hardens on them or dries you just bend it a little bit and it pops right off. So now what we do important next part of the process is we take the fiberglass mat okay right here Take the fiberglass mat and we lay it down on here. Now, we take the Bondo paddle and we put it down on top and we press evenly. And if it's a, an area that's much bigger than the Bondo paddle, well you just keep moving the Bondo paddle along, putting it in position and then pressing press the entire surface, press over it evenly, and there we have it. And as you'll see, the uh, JB Weld has come up through the weave and semi-saturated the cloth from the other side, okay? And that's, and that's perfect for what we want to do. Now, this will stay like this. In about an hour, it will uh, be uh, a lot more resistant to movement. And it's basically hands-free from that point. And tomorrow, uh, it'll be ready for the next part of the process. I did this the day before yesterday. And uh, I did another experiment where I put fiberglass uh, right on the aluminum like this and uh, a couple hours later and it was all hard and all set up and it went pop and it came right off. So without sanding this just to see I put the JB Weld on this side as I applied JB Weld on this side and I put the uh, mat down on it and I popped this on and uh, I came out this morning and I tugged on it and pop came straight off and it came straight off because even the JB weld won't won't uh, bond to wax so if I had have sanded it down it may have bonded but it sure wouldn't be as strong a bond as this one now just like a moment ago when I applied the uh, the mat onto the aluminum with the JB weld and I let it 24 hours to harden. Then I applied uh, the polyester fiberglass resin on top of it and it kicked off and was good to go in about an hour. Now I gotta tell you this is on there. I mean you'll bend the metal, you'll deform the metal, bend the metal long before you get this off. It is really solidly mounted on there. Of course, if you needed to take it off, uh, hit it with uh, a torch, uh, some heat, and, the, and uh, that'll cause it to separate. But under normal conditions, that's on there for 
years. It's going to be on there for forever until you try and take it off. So, so basically, this is the process. And these are the products that you need for the process. And when it is finished, you will have a bond that you can probably uh, use on a boat. Now, on a recent project, in order to seal the edge on the wheel well, I had to apply this process um, with the fiberglass uh, attaching to the aluminum. And as you can see, this is the initial phase when the JB Weld is still liquid. This is the following day, and the JB Weld has kicked off. The fiberglass mat is bonded to the aluminum, but not as firmly as it will be with the fiberglass resin. I'm about to apply the fiberglass resin and seal this edge of the wheel well. And here you see the fiberglass resin has been applied. It is uh, dried. It's now about uh, two hours old. And it's a very nice edge. It, I was able to position it because the JB well didn't kick for a long time. And the finished product is looking very good. So here it is, the finished wheel well with a good durable repair that's going to last for years into the future. If you are uh, attempting a restoration uh, with fiberglass and aluminum, I suggest this is the way you do it. And uh, good luck and God bless.